Hi folks, David Smith here with David Smith Radon. Uh, welcome to our distribution center here in central Illinois. Uh, today we're going to talk about utilizing two fans on one stack. Uh, that would be for two reasons. Uh, number one, uh, if you're in a very tall building, sometimes a booster fan's handy. We'll talk just for a minute about that. But we'll actually do a demonstration on double stacking fans. Uh, I think that uh, double stacking fans is, uh, is something you would utilize much more than you would boosting, but both of them are something that could help you in, in certain situations. And so uh, just to talk a little bit about boosting fans or a booster fan is sometimes when you're building a large stack, uh, the fan just has so much vertical, uh, vertical stack to push that putting a booster on the top of it is, is a valuable asset to help the first fan out. It's really simple. It's not rocket science. Uh, it's a radon fan, but any fan in this world, uh, if you can't get it to blow far enough, you add another one to it. So typically in, uh, in a booster situation, once again, it's a tall building. Your second fan is near the top. Uh, typically your second fan can be a more powerful fan in terms of volume than the first fan. Uh, as I said, it's simply trying to help that first fan out and it's a simple logic is it does. Uh, not very often do we utilize that because uh, it, uh, on a tall building, if you're three stories or less, it seems to, seems to not be necessary. But there certainly are plenty of you guys doing taller buildings than that. So having said that, I want to talk more about, um, about the double stack. And there's certain times that you get into a, a position where you need to double stack fans. I can tell you a lot of my friends that are in vapor intrusion and do large buildings uh, utilize double stacking all the time as part of their plan. And it's very successful. Uh, but there's times when, uh, when you even need it residentially. For instance, if you're, uh, if you're in a home where you just can't find any more suction points but the uh, substrate is just so poor that your communication just isn't getting it, uh, double stacking can help and we'll prove that here in a minute. Uh, another uh, reason that we double stack is uh, commercially speaking, uh, for instance we did a large building uh, in a large city in central Illinois recently where we were trying to lower the amount of stacks on the outside of the building and we feel like by double stacking the fan that we used we were able to go from five stacks to three and uh, the results prove that that to be true. So there's two reasons that double stacking can be valuable. But now we're going to show you what double stacking actually does. And this is our workhorse, the Eagle. Uh, all of you that use Festa fans know that the, uh, the Eagle's certainly been a, a life-saving fan. So we're going to turn it on and we're going to look at the manometer and we're going to see if we can max it out with our valve. So here we go. As I said, we've got the valve closed. So what we're doing is we're, we're duplicating what's going to happen to a very powerful fan uh, when you have no communication. And those of you that have any, uh, uh, any experience with this, uh, with this great Eagle fan at all, uh, once again, we know it's capable of four inches. Four inches, four inches, four inches. So we're proving that under, under uh, conditions of no volume available, uh, very poor substrate, uh, this kind of a, a manometer usually doesn't indicate any kind of a success. But let's just say I'm in a situation where I simply can't figure out what else to do to get communication. It's certainly possible uh, that double stacking could be a, a, a solution or part of a solution to your problem. And so now I'm going to plug in a second fan, but I'm going to open the valve first. And then I'm going to put a second fan on top of the first one to show you what uh, what can happen when you utilize the double stacking possibilities. I think that's reasonably straight. So this is kind of cool in my opinion what it does. Uh, the hard evidence of what it's going to do to double stack once again we have the valve open now, so you've got plenty of volume going up. And so now we're going to duplicate poor substrate and go up the line. And there's a reason we're going up the line uh, slowly, and I'll show you what I mean by that uh, pretty soon. <clears throat> Our in-house manometer that we produce is one of the highest reading manometers that you can buy, but it's not capable of 
of more than six inches. So here we are at five and a half. I can push that up to six inches. <clears throat> the problem is these two fans are capable of a lot more than that. So a liquid manometer such as ours is no longer a viable option. A uh, magna helic is or a larger manometer. And as I said, our in-house manometer that we produce is one of the higher ones you can get for a standard manometer. At six inches, that's pretty high. So we're gonna pull it out. If we don't pull it out, it's gonna suck the oil out and shoot it out the top of the fan. <clears throat> Most of us have seen that happen also. So let's plug that hole. <clears throat> now we're gonna go ahead and close the valve all the way. Keep an eye on the magna helix that reads the 10 inches. <clears throat> there you go. Now you've, you've double stacked two Eagle fans in effect doubling the pressure. So you've went from four inches of water column to eight inches of water column, which should very much increase your field of extension. Uh, so it is a general rule that double stacking fans will double the pressure, the evidence is right here, and airflow will increase around 50%. So now I'm going to unplug these fans. I want to talk just a little bit more about the benefits of double stacking above and beyond what we spoke about. Uh, and a couple of the rules, uh, unwritten rules about double stacking. Uh, Festa organization very much approves of double stacking their fans. You should check with your manufacturer if you're not a Festa user to see their position on it. Uh, Festa recommends eight inches minimum of pipe between the two fans, <coughs> similar to what we've duplicated. And uh, as I said, some of the benefits from double stacking, uh, of course, are pressure and, and flow, but <clears throat> the places you're gonna use them is, is, as I discussed earlier, large buildings with less stacks. You're also gonna use them on, on homes that you just are running out of answers on. So there you are, folks. I mean, uh, it's not rocket science. Uh, very, very much a handy tool to help you out in the right situation. And it's something that we certainly do occasionally. And as I said earlier, I have a lot of friends in the industry uh, that uh, utilize them in their game plan, especially for large buildings. So uh, if you have any questions, call us. Uh, we're, we're doggone, we're pretty familiar with the fans and we're uh, real familiar with having to do this process. So thanks for your time. David Smith with David Smith Radon.